Happening right now, homeowners in one Bristol neighborhood are hoping to stop a proposed apartment complex. There's a zoning meeting that's actually about to get underway right now. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live. He has more tonight on why people are pretty upset. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mark. And we've talked with dozens of homeowners who are coming out here today. They just don't think that this apartment complex fits in with their neighborhood. But the mayor here says that this is just part of bigger changes that they're facing here in Bristol. And it's important that these neighbors come out and talk about what they want to happen here. We are in the process of change. Every community is changing. A developer is hoping to transform these Bristol properties into apartments. But neighbors are hoping to stop him. If they want to build single family houses or nice townhouses, that'd be great. That would actually help the area because this is one of the nicest areas in Bristol. The Zoning Commission will begin considering a zoning change Monday to allow the plans. But first, an informational meeting tonight at FN Manross Library for the public. We want to make sure that every resident is aware of the meetings that are happening, have the opportunity to look at the plans online, and can come and voice their opinions. Developer Joseph Naples has provided only limited details about what he wants to do. We reached out to Naples today, but got no comment. But before Naples can move forward, he needs the Zoning Commission to change the zoning for three lots on Redstone Hill Road. Currently, they can only be used for single-family units. Mayor Ellen Zapusasu says most of the city's homes were built before 1960. Since then, things have changed, and so has demand. There was no ESPN. There were no uh, manufacturing components. Uh, Lake Compounds wasn't half of what it is today. Zapo Sasu says Naples wants to build luxury apartments, but neighbors don't want that. I don't care if, you know, houses go in there and stuff like that, but I'm just afraid that um, with an apartment building is just too much. Some opponents have been circulating their own flyers, but Zapu Sasu says much of that information is wrong. To make that leap and assume this what-if scenario does not benefit anybody in the community. But some neighbors say Naples could have stopped misinformation by sharing his own details. There's probably some misinformation out there, but it's on both sides. The owner didn't tell us what he wants to do. Now, even if Naples is able to get that zoning change after next week's hearing, he still has to come back for multiple permits before any project can come forward. Live from Bristol, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.